Blessed good morning to one and all. I'm happy to be with you all this morning as I extend to each and every one of you the grace and the peace of God the Father and our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Hope you're observing the dress code. All right. Because I am going into the new year fully immersed in Christ and drenched in his blood. Amen and hallelujah. You hear what I'm saying? Fully immersed in Christ and drenched in his blood. And I want each and every one of you all to, to, to go into next year also in the very same and like manner. Amen and hallelujah. Alright, so we're going into Christ. We're going into 2021. Fully immersed in Christ and drenched in his blood. Hallelujah and amen. Amen. Good morning to each and every one of you all at the Apostolic Covenant Ministries from the head of the department, Apostle Randall Joseph, to the least of them. Amen. Deacon and the deaconess, um, the ministers involved there, and all of the, the, the members, the faithful members. Whew. And last week, Sunday, we had a marvelous time, a lit time in the name of Jesus there at the, at the sanctuary. Amen. Hallelujah. I mean, live and recording. It's two different things, eh? Believe what I'm telling you. We had a Holy Spirit, Holy Ghost filled moving time there last week, Sunday morning. All right, so y'all are invited. You know, it's 19 in King Street, Arima. All right, we are in the heart of Arima, so you can come and check us out at any point in time. The service starts there at 9.30 a.m. All right, sharp, promptly. Amen, hallelujah. It, it, as well as YouTube is on um, at 9.30 a.m. also streamed, okay? All right, so either which way, you know you're gonna have a, a a great word you will come straight from god all right straight from the word of god all right so i pray that god continues to bless your heart and this morning we'll be taking our reading from the book of ezekiel the book of ezekiel chapter 22 so i'd like you to get there quite quickly all right um i'll be reading from the king james version amen hallelujah all right we'll be reading from verses 24 to the end of the chapter, verse 31. I want to say good morning to my sons and me. Bless Shane and Zion, my daughter Shadi and Asia. All right. I pray that God continues to strengthen you all and grant you all favor and blessings, you know, as the new year approaches. And I pray that all th things that all old things are left behind, you know. Um, I extend a lot of courtesies as I said to a lot of the membership, right? And a lot of people who have given into that area are, are given, brother Ron Lashley. Um, Sister Ellis, um, uh, quite a lot of people, Sister Annie, you know, um, ooh, Sister Judy and, and her daughter, I give you all thanks and praise and I pray that God continues to pour into your heart, could pour into your circumstances, to pour into your lives, even for them, for them, more and more and more, in Jesus' almighty and in his matchless name, Brother Joel, right, um, I pray that God continues to strengthen each and every one of you all. All right, amen. So I pray that you all are continually blessed. That you all are continually blessed. You know, I keep telling people that I'm giving them an opportunity to give. The thing is that that certain you are entitled to certain blessings when you give. All right, when you give. Okay, so don't exclude yourself from it, Sister Danis. All right, Sister Sister Um Shanid and Brother Picky. God bless you all. You know, you all keep keep on that on that on that path right there. Amen and hallelujah. Right, so we're in the book of Ezekiel chapter 22 this morning from verses 24. And the word of God says, Son of man, say unto her, Thou art the land that is not cleansed nor rained upon in the day of indignation. There is a conspiracy of her prophets in the midst thereof, like a roaring lion ravening the prey. They have devoured souls. They have taken the treasure and precious things. They have made her many widows in the midst thereof. Her priests have violated my law and have profaned my holy things. They have put no difference between the holy and the profane. Neither have they shewed difference between the clean and the unclean. And I have hid their eyes from my Sabbaths and I am profane among them. The princes in the midst thereof are like wolves ravening the prey to shed blood and to destroy souls to get dishonest gain. And the prophets have daubed them with untempered murder, seeing vanity and divining lies unto them, saying, Thus saith the Lord God, when the Lord had not spoken. The people of the land have used oppression and exercised robbery and have vexed the poor and needy. Yea, they have oppressed the stranger wrongfully. And I sought for a man among them that should make up the hedge and stand in the gap before me for the land. 
that I should not destroy it, but I found none. Therefore have I poured out my indignation upon them. I have consumed them with the fire of my wrath. Their own, way, their own way have I recompensed upon their heads, saith the Lord God. Hallelujah. Father God, we give you thanks and we give you praise this morning for your word, Lord God. We give you thanks and we give you praise for, for, for your reading, O God, and for bringing us here together at the right place right now. Father God, we pray that your, your spirit of wisdom is, is imparted to each and every one of us. Understanding and knowledge. And even more so, Lord God, help us to apply the word that we are receiving today in the almighty and the master's name of Jesus Christ, our Lord, who died so we all can live. Amen, 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 and hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The, the, the name of the message this morning is the right place, right? It is the right place. So you can write it down. You can see it, you'll see it on the screen anyway, right? So the thing is, Ezekiel, God is speaking to Ezekiel, right? God is speaking to Ezekiel and he's telling Ezekiel, he's saying to Ezekiel, he's giving Ezekiel the reason for his judgment. The reason for his judgment and the reason for God's judgment was, was because that the, the, the Israel... Israel had gone its own way. They were not separating what was holy and what was um, not holy. All right, as as the verse said, as the verse said, he said they, they, that they have committed adultery and blood in their hands. Right? He said, he said, he said, he said to them, he said, he said, they, there is a conspiracy of our prophets in the midst thereof. Right? So there was a plan. Right? And a conspiracy takes more than one. Right, so he's saying that there was a conspiracy in the land by, by the prophets, you know, by the prophets of God themselves, you know. All right, he said, like roaring lions, they waving in the prey, they have devoured souls, they have taken a tre treasure and precious thing, they have made her many widows in the midst of priests have violated my law. If they have violated the law, which means they have not kept the law, right? They have not kept the commandments, they weren't doing as God had instructed. Good. The whole thing about us and, and, and being believers in Christ is that we have to do as God instructs, as the, word of the, as the word of God instructs. Not our own way, no time at all. God is going to recompense our own ways upon our heads. Right? So he says this. He says, and have profaned my holy things. They have profaned my holy things. They have put no difference between the holy and the profane. The profane is the ungodly. Right? So if you put no difference between the holy and the profane, then God is not with you, you know. And sooner or later, he is going to take action against that kind of action. There's going to be a reaction to that action. Amen? So we have to be careful of the things that we are doing and we need to separate. We need to separate quite a lot of stuff. You know, we need to separate what is holy from what is festive, what is holy from what is profane. Nothing that goes on today hasn't gone on before. There is nothing new under the sun. This is Ezekiel. This is in the book of Ezekiel. And I brought this to you to show you that as a fact, there is nothing new under the sun. Right? And the same situations and problems that would have occurred back then is the same situations and problems that we're going to occur right now. Right? That sometimes, a lot of times, the church is going to be um, taken advantage of. You know, there, there, there would be leadership also that is not going to be doing the right thing. All of these things is what, is, what Ezekiel is telling us, what God is talking to Ezekiel about here, you know. Right? And he's going to take actions like against it. Right? He spoke about his prophets and his priests. Right? He spoke about what they were doing. Right? And that they, they, what they were doing was about gain. Filthy gain. Right? It was about, it was about as he put it at the end of verse 27, about getting dishonest gain. Good. So we got to be careful with these things. Now we're going to see these things. We can see these things, you know, but we have to be alert to them. Good. And we have to know how to approach and how to deal with these problems and situations. Amen. So there's nothing new under the sun. So it was just a reason God was showing Ezekiel why he brought that judgment on um, Israel, on, on his people, on God's chosen people, right? Now the thing is, that as I'm saying that, we must be able to create that separation between holy and profane, right? Festive, holy, whatever, however you want to put it. We must be able to maintain that line. All right, and you know, you know, when we look at when we look at because we're in the book of Acts right now. When we look at when we look at the book of Acts, even from chapter one, we would recognize also that that was being established, you know, right? The, that choice and that separation, because in the book of Acts, chapter one, right, 
after after Luke says introduces himself, you know, and, and to is addressing the, the lovers of God, Theophilus, he begins to tell us that um that that Jesus, the same Jesus who had just died, right? Who had just died and um spent spent three days buried and rose again from the dead, right? Effecting the resurrection, right? And that same spirit that rose in from the dead is alive within us. He said that same Jesus, right? Spent 40 days with them. And I want you all to mark that off in your Bible. Eh? He spent 40 days with them, but with chosen ones, right? He spent that 40 days with chosen ones. The ones who he gave instruction to, to, um, to, to receive the commandments and to give the commandments to us. Amen? I don't know, and they are those who have seen him. I want you all to look at it in your Bibles carefully. Verses 2 and verses 3. Right? They were chosen. The chosen ones who had seen him. You know, Who had seen him. Eh? Alright? Now the thing is about this is, is that these chosen ones received that instruction from Jesus Christ. And this book is sealed up to Revelation with the book at, with, with from with where John wrote. So anything that comes after is not authorized, you know. Anything, any any kind of uh, 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 celebration, any declaration, any decree, right? Concern any any creed, anything at all that is not in this Bible between Genesis to Revelation is not from any of God's chosen ones to write and place before any of us as commandments. Eh? You hear what I'm telling you? You all can challenge these things. The word of God is straight. The word of God is straightforward and it is true. It is honest and it shall and cannot be changed. Amen? Hallelujah. It cannot and it shall not be changed. You could say what? It cannot be changed. There are men out there, even regardless of how astray, the whole entire Christian community goes. There will be men who will stand in the gap for the land, between God and the land. You hear what I'm telling you? There will be men. He said, I searched for a man, you know, and I found none. You hear what I'm telling you? But there will be men who will stand in that gap. Because he was saying that to Ezekiel, you know, but Ezekiel was the man that he found to stand in the gap. Amen. Hallelujah. Y'all got to check that out. There will be one. He is going to put an Ezekiel. There will be an Ezekiel in your midst. There will be an Ezekiel to tell you all, this is what God really said. Because he's saying that the prophets and the, the priests and they were saying to the people that the Lord said, to you know, when the Lord didn't. And that is alive with us here today. That so many of them come in and tell you that this is this 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 is God said to do this. God didn't. He never did. And God kicks against those things and he takes actions against those things. God didn't say it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Everything that has to be done and said as commands and instructions for us believers in Christ is here in the Bible, written plain and simply. Fact is fact. You hear fact is fact. Do not be led astray. Do not be led astray because these men seek dishonest gain. Amen. Hallelujah. And they do not distinguish between what is holy and what is profane. Today I'm here to put you in the right place. I'm here to put you all in the right place. Amen. So Luke, Luke, Luke comes and he tells them, he said, listen. In chapter 1, he said, Jesus, who resurrected from the dead, spent 40 days with us. We have this knowledge in the book of Acts, right? And, and he chose certain men to receive the instruction to then give it back to the people, right? So these are the instructions we have here in the Bible and that is what makes the Bible the Bible also. You hear what I'm telling you? That is what makes the Bible the Bible also, right? So, 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 um, the thing is, Jesus then comes to and he separates also the spirit from the flesh. He comes and he separates the spirit from the flesh, right? Before he, he ascends. Because here what he says, he says, John came and baptized you with water. He said, but I am going to baptize you with the Holy Ghost. Somebody say amen in the house right now. Because the baptism and all to have to make it understand that the flesh, we have to separate from the flesh. We just finished the book of Galatians. We got to separate from the flesh. We know what the law, what the law represents, the flesh and bondage. We have to separate from the flesh if we are to align with Christ. How about today we going into 2021? Fully immersed in Christ and drenched in his blood, man. Amen. So the baptism had to be of spirit. So Jesus come and distinguish that for them. Remember in John 4, 22 to 24, what I always keep trying to tell you all to keep reading. Keep reading. He said, one, he said, he said, you're worshiping, you don't know what you know. 
you all do not know what you worship. He said, the day will come and the day is now. When the true worshippers, the true worshippers, not worshippers, you know, which means that there are two kind of worshippers. There are worshippers and there are true worshippers. And when the true worshippers shall worship me in spirit and in truth, man. Come on, we got to raise the bar, you know. We got to step this thing up higher, you know. It's either you are just a worshipper or you are a true worshipper declared by Jesus Christ. He said it in the book of John. Right? So you see how he constantly separates. He separated it at that point in time. And John recorded it. And he separated it here after his um, resurrection. And Luke recorded it for us. Amen. Hallelujah. He said, John did it with water. But I'm doing it in the Holy Ghost. Amen. Hallelujah. And that's how we step in forward. I tell you, today, I'm getting you ready to cross over. So I have to put you. For me to cross you over, I have to put you in the right place to cross over. You hear what I'm telling you? Amen. Hallelujah. Right? So after he spoke that, after he spoke that, he ascended. Yes, he ascended. And they saw the, the two men come and ask him. He said, why are you all gazing into the sky like that? The same Jesus that went in one way is going to come back to you in the same like manner at the same place. So here what's going on. So everybody now goes to a place now because he tells them, he tells them, do not leave Jerusalem. Stay there and wait stay and wait so they head to this place called the upper room right everybody want, all churches has have all kind of uh, 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 messages a lot of preachers and pastors will come with the message of the upper room and that and what it is so they go to the upper room so this upper room here now right what's this upper room the upper room is an area of waiting right it's an area of waiting because what jesus told them to do go and wait he said wait you know because the Holy Ghost will come some days not far away, right? Just like where we are right now. I'm telling you all this, right? You all are in a period of waiting right now to cross over, right? So you're going to be in the right place. You see, so they went to the right, they went to the upper room and they were in this area of waiting. But what goes on in this area of waiting? Why are you in this area of waiting? You are in this area of waiting, my brother and my sister, to receive him. You ain't just in that place they wasting time, you know. You are in that area of waiting to receive from Jesus Christ. You are there to receive, right? So I'm telling you right now, whether you're in your home, in your car, you're listening on your phone, on your radio, on your TV set, whatever it is, you right now are in the position of waiting because you are about to receive. You hear the word of God shall not fail. You are about to receive. Hallelujah. Say amen in your homes right now. Say amen in your homes right now. So you, you, you've got to be in that place of waiting, in that upper room. You've got to be there. You've got to be there. I'll tell you something here right now. Right, the thing about the upper room, the upper room, right, and being in the upper room is this. What Jesus was telling him too is this. You, you, and I'm telling you also. I'm telling a lot of you all who profess and confess to be believers in Christ, right, to be believers in Jesus, to be born again, believers who are supposed to be immersed in Jesus Christ in the word of God and drenched in his blood. I'm telling some of you all here right now, you will not be able to move forward and have favor with God. You will not be able to move forward and have favor with God if you don't receive what you tell you to wait for first. You can't go ahead. You hear what I'm telling you? You've got to receive it before you move ahead. That's why he was telling them, he tell them, wait. So they couldn't move forward. Unless they had received the power and the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. And that's the same thing with you all. You all got to be careful how you're stepping in to 2021. Do not try to step in to 2021. If you ain't received the power of the Holy Spirit and the anointing as yet. You have to maintain that position in Christ. You got to stay in that position in Christ. You got to be fully immersed in Christ and drenched in his blood. And receive it to go into 2021. Otherwise you're going in the same way as you come out and that is not how Jesus intended for you. Amen and hallelujah. I say preach it this morning man. Hallelujah. Preach it this morning. Right? So you got to be in the right place to move forward. You got to receive also before you move forward. Alright? So here, here, here the thing. Here the thing about this. Eh? Here the thing about this here right now. Here the thing about this here right now. Right? The, 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 the important part of this message here right now. Right? Is that, is that I want you to look at verses 12. Let, let's go to Acts verses 12. Let's go to the book of Acts. 
We're going to the book of Acts, chapter 1, verses 12. Because I want you all to read this with me here right now. All right? I want you all to read this with me here right now. Okay? So here we are in the book of Acts, verses 12. Right here what the, here what the Bible says. Then returned they unto Jerusalem from the mount called Olivet, which is from Jerusalem, a Sabbath day's journey. Right? Then... Then, then they returned unto Jerusalem from the Mount Colorado, which is from Jerusalem, a Sabbath day's journey. A Sabbath day's journey. All right, all right, all right. So here's what I want you to understand. Here's what I want you to understand. They moved from Olivet. They returned to Jerusalem. They moved from Olivet. They returned to Jerusalem, which was about a Sabbath day journey. Now, here what the thing is. Here what I got to tell you all this morning. Here what God told me to tell you all. I want you all to receive this message right now. I want you all to receive this message right now. You got to leave where you were, right? You got to leave where you were and go to the place that God has told you to get to. But the thing is, right? You got to leave where you were. You got to leave one place. You got to leave one place, right? To go to another. Right? And that's the crossover right there. I'm telling you here this morning that I'm going to put you in the right place to move forward. Alright? So you got to leave one place. Alright? And go to another. The place that you have to leave. The place that you have to leave right now is the place outside of Christ Jesus. The place that you are right now. The place where sin has met you. Where loss has met you. Where enticements have met you. Where entanglements have met you. Where you are in bondage. You have to leave one place and you have to go to another. Alright? But you got to be on time. Look at what they're saying. Look at what they said here. They said it was about a Sabbath day journey. The thing is, they know that it would have taken one day for them to get where they were. Right? To get where they were. Right? A, a one day on that journey. And it's the same thing with you. Your journey is right in front of you, you know. For you to get to where you got to go to, you are seeing that goal. And the thing is, you got to be in the right place to accomplish that. Amen and hallelujah. And that right place is in Jesus Christ. Amen. So you got to leave one place and get to another place. All right? Otherwise, I'm telling you here that you will not be able to move forward. You will not be able to navigate 2021 properly. You understand what I'm telling you? This is about navigating the year to come, you know. And the only way a believer in Christ, a believer in Christ cannot depend on anything other than navigating in Jesus Christ. Than Jesus Christ, you can't depend on anything other than Jesus Christ to navigate through the year that is coming up. And believe what I'm telling you, we need him right now. So I'm telling you that you got to immerse yourself in the word and drench yourself in his blood to move forward. Hear what I'm saying? Because you got to be in the right place, right? What, what, what you got to, you see, you see right now, you got to receive what is necessary for you to move forward. You got to receive what is necessary for you to move forward. And what is necessary for you to move forward is Jesus Christ in your life. It's being being immersed in the word, being immersed in the word, all right, being drenched in the blood, being immersed in the word. Say that right now in your homes, and I'm immersing myself in the word. And I'm good. I'm telling you right now that you gotta stop some of the things that you have been doing for the past year. Right? This is what I'm telling you also. You gotta stop some of the things that you have been doing for the past year. I'm telling you right now, cool turkey. Just 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 kick it out, right? Walk in the spirit so you won't fulfill the lust of the flesh. I told you you gotta live a lifestyle according to Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. So we gotta we gotta we gotta leave one place, and that place that we are leaving is the life that has caused separation from Jesus Christ with us. The life and the things that we have doing that have hindered the, the our results of our prayer. These things that we have we have fallen to the lust and the temptations, we have to leave that place. That place, that is the place that they're telling you about. About, that we had to leave here right now. The place where anger and bitterness and malice resides. That place we got to leave here right now. The place where hypocrisy grows and jealousy and envy kills. That place we got to leave right now. In Jesus' almighty name, we have to leave one place and get to the other. And the other place is Jesus Christ. And they don't have them things in Jesus Christ. You hear what I'm telling you? There ain't no envy. There ain't no malice. There ain't no jealousy. There ain't no evil speaking in Jesus Christ. So you got to leave that place right now. It ain't no fornication. It ain't no adultery. It ain't no backsliding. You got to leave that place and come to the place where Jesus Christ is telling you to wait now. Wait. wait 
may just wait. You're waiting? Wait, wait, wait. Because the Holy Spirit coming right now. And that, that anointing is going to be poured out upon you. And when you receive that anointing, it's then you could move forward to navigate 2021. Amen and hallelujah. Say raise a praise in your homes right now. Amen. Hallelujah. You got to raise a praise. You can't just, you, you just, you know, as a believer in Christ. You can't just walk into the new year just so you know. You can't just walk into 2021 just like that. No, it won't work for you. I'm telling you that. Put yourself in the right place. In the right place, right? And that is, that is in Jesus Christ and drenched in his blood. Amen and hallelujah. The right place is where we're heading to right now. Because I want to share something. Let me share something. For, for you to, you, you want to you wanna research something on, 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 on your phone, right? You go to your search engine, you go to the search engine, and you may pull up whatever, and you get the information. Am I not right? Your phone have a whole lot of apps on it, you know, but you have to go to the right place to get the right information. Am I right? Right? You want to you wanna see one of my messages, you know what to do. You go to YouTube, right? And you, 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 you click, and you're on. Good? So you, you receive one of my messages. If you want to receive favor, if you want to receive blessings, if you want to receive deliverance and healing, and you have to go to the right place too, you can't stand far off from the place and expect to receive from it. You've got to be in the right place. And the right place is Jesus Christ. Otherwise, we are moving forward. No way at all. In the name of Jesus, I declare this morning that all the things that have unbugged you and chained you and had you in bondage, had you yoked, shall be removed in the almighty name of Jesus Christ right now. The chains have fallen to the ground and a mighty deliverance is taking place in your homes and in your atmospheres. Even right now, as I speak, I say, just say amen. Just say amen and receive that breakthrough in Jesus' is almighty and in his matchless name. Amen and hallelujah. Now let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Right? I'm here to put you in that right place this morning. I'm here to put you in that right place this morning. Now you see the thing about it is, the upper room, the upper room did not, and it was not a place, you know. The upper room didn't end up to be a place, you know. Hear what the upper room ended up to be, my friends, my brothers, my sisters in Jesus Christ, those who have slid away, right? Hear what the upper room ended up to be. The upper room ended up to be an experience. You hear what I'm telling you? The upper room ended up to be an experience. And that is the same experience that Jesus wants you to receive and to experience right now, to be a part of, right? And that is his movement forward, his, his spirit within you, Becoming alive and being able to navigate and guide you through 2021 to come. Hallelujah and amen. So I've got to put you in the right place, right? To receive the message on all year's day in Jesus' almighty name. And that is where we are right now. Amen and hallelujah. Hallelujah. You see, you have to be in that place right now. And I'm putting you in that place right now, right? To cross you over into 2021. Amen. So, so I'm placing you here right now under the anointing to receive, right? Under the anointing to navigate, under the anointing to receive that healing, that deliverance, that blessing, that favor, right? To receive, to receive, to receive fruit, fertility in your wombs for those of you who need it. To remove cancers, right, from your bodies. To remove, to remove pains, to remove hurts, to remove kidney failures, to remove diabetes, to remove to remove any sickness that you could think about right now in Jesus' almighty name. I'm placing you in the right place so that you're going to receive it. Because next week, we're crossing over. Right? We're crossing over. You hear what I'm telling you? When we step into 2021, we're stepping in there clean. Because we would have received what was necessary right now to achieve and to, to gain deliverance and to gain everything that God has promised for you in, in that year to come. Amen and hallelujah. And that's the message that I got for you right now. I'm putting you in the right place. I'm putting you in the right place. I'm putting you in the right place. And that right place is in Jesus Christ. Now I'm going to tell you all something. Huh? You know, a lot of people have backslidden. And I want you all to know here this morning, I want you all to know this, that Jesus Christ first of all is a forgiving God. Right? He's a forgiving God. And there is nothing that you have done that He is not going to forgive you for. So wherever you are and whatever you think and how far, it doesn't matter how far you or, or, or how, how long you have stayed away, come back in right now, my brother. 
All right, rededicate your life to Christ. Let them know, say, Lord, say, say, I, I, I'm sorry, I'm a sinner. You know, I'm a sinner, and I'm asking you for forgiveness. I'm asking you, Lord, God, to heal me, to remove all of the iniquity from me, all of the transgression, to give me a clean slate, and I've been a walk circumspect with you in Jesus' almighty and matchless name. Amen and hallelujah. Don't be afraid, my brother. Come back in. The church is waiting for you. All right? Jesus is waiting for you with open arms. All right? Remember the story of the prodigal son. All right? He could have gone how far. When he come back, your reward is waiting there for you still. Amen? And that is the love of God, the love of the Father. Amen and hallelujah. May God bless you all. All right? So we're crossing over in the next year. So as I said, I have placed that anointing in the air, that anointing of power, that anointing of healing, that anointing of deliverance. But you know, to receive it, to navigate 2021, be in the right place. All right? Be in the right place on that last day of 2020 as I cross you over into 2021. Amen and hallelujah. Right, right about now, we're going to be partaking of the communion, right? And I hope, and I know that you all should have by now known that we're going straight into the communion, amen? And hallelujah. Father God, we give you thanks and we give you praise this day. As we come together, obeying your instruction, O Lord God, and your word. As we hold in our hands emblems of God that represents your body. The same body that was broken for us, O oh Lord God, for us to receive deliverance, for us, O oh Lord God, to, to know you, to understand you, to believe in the resurrection, O oh Lord God, that body was broken for us. That body was destroyed for us, O oh Lord God. And with that in mind, we, we, we partake of this body here this morning, this emblem that represents your body, knowing that your body was full of power, that your body still is full of power, O oh Lord God, and because of that, there is nothing that is within us, no sickness, no hurt, no harm that is within us right now that cannot be removed by us partaking of your body. So we give you thanks right now, O Lord God, as you remove every stain and every hurt, every sin and every iniquity from within our lives in Jesus' almighty and matchless name. Amen. You may partake. In like manner, he held the cup. The same cup that represents his blood. And he said, do this, partake of this as often as we come together. And it doesn't matter where we are, you know, we come together in Jesus Christ. And in his blood, his blood is healing, his blood is redemption, his blood is power. His blood is what has sealed the covenant right the new telling us that it is finished that we owe it to no man we owe it to no law we only owe it to jesus amen he did it all for us he it was his sacrifice once for all there is no other sacrifice to come it has covered all sin it has covered all sickness and it surely has covered all healing so this morning as we partake oh lord god i ask that you remove every sickness every taint of cancer Every taint of, of hurt, every area that we need healing right now within our blood, Lord, I ask you for. And we give you thanks. You may partake. Father God, we give you thanks and I give you praise for another day, for bringing us here together, for setting us in the right place, O oh Lord God, to move us forward. I ask you, Lord God, to help us to remember you this week as we step into the close of the year. Move us, O oh Lord God, from one place to the correct place. Moving us, O oh Lord God, will require that we leave behind all of the things that have burdened us, that have yoked us, that have caused us problems, that have caused us sickness, that have caused us emotional hurt, pain, and harm. So we remove ourselves from that place right now oh lord god in spirit because we know what is bound in heaven is bound in the earth and we bind it oh lord god this day that we shall be free and shall receive deliverance in the almighty name of jesus christ our lord amen amen um i want to thank you all for being here right for spending this time with me for spending this time with us because i know it's not me alone i know it's a community looking on 
right and it's a community in christ i love you all all right i want to say um hello and, and and a quick a quick good 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 day to um evangelist dexter 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 friday sam Bri de la rosa right to my brother god and my brothers andrew right and i pray that you all find yourself in the right place for us to all move forward being heads of your families all right and jesus is almighty and my sister amen for all the heads of the families that are looking on right now i'm telling you find yourself in that right place find yourself under that anointing so that god is going to give you that ability and that holy ghost power to navigate 2021 to keep you free from sickness harm hurt and disease to look over your family to to ensure that your finances are checked out to ensure that your health is checked everything that is necessary for you to move forward you will receive under that anointing so i'll see you then this is pastor solomon de la rosa in god's grace